All right. This is well. Anyone want? <coughs> you can just shout out the answer. No, uh, no descriptions though. Describing is good for teaching purposes, but once I've used up all the time, what is this? Yeah, angiofibroma or fibrous papule. It's dome shaped. This is a nice classic one. A lot of the ones we see in practice are little tiny things. But they can be quite big, actually. They can really be like a polyp sticking off of the nose or the cheek. They occasionally occur at other sites, too. And they have co collagen-rich dermis with spindle to stellate cells. Some of them kind of have a boomerang shape. A lot of times they're kind of stellate, kind of star-shaped or triangle-shaped. Oh, look, that one's triangle-shaped. I like it. Um, sometimes they're multinucleated. My um, my mentor, Doug Parker at Emory, said that they look kind of like the Star Trek uh, insignia that, that, that was on like the uniforms from the Star Trek crew on the Enterprise. I like that. Um, you can sometimes see induction change in the epidermis. And then you see a variable amount of dilated vessels. And if it's in an old sun damaged person, the great clue is that, look, their dermis should look like this, should be ciliary elastosis. But this is a new lesion. It's completely pushed the elastosis out of the way and laid down new collagen. So angiofibroma or fibrous papule, benign and beautiful.